Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. A few weeks ago I got a review monitor from ASUS, which I used to create an in-depth video about G-Sync. Based on the feedback I got, it seems like this video helped a few of you guys to get a better understanding of how this technology works and how to get the most out of your G-Sync monitor. The thing that many people were not aware of is that you must make sure that the game's frame rate stays below the maximum display refresh rate in order to benefit from G-Sync at all times. Which is sadly easier said than done as many games do not provide the option to set a specific frame rate limit. And if you use the Nvidia Inspector to limit your frame rate, then this causes as much delay as VSync does. So as a result of these findings I got requests for additional tests. But sadly I was not able to deliver these as the review monitor was already on its way back to ASUS when the video went live. So I constantly had these questions in the back of my head as these were indeed good questions that I also wanted an answer for. So even though my wife was not quite happy about it, I used a part of my Christmas bonus to buy the exact same monitor, which means that we will answer a few of those questions in today's video. The first one is, does the force off option inside the Nvidia Inspector eliminate or reduce the delay? The second is, does the FPS limiter inside the River Tuner statistics server, which is also bundled with the MSI Afterburner application, cause less delay than the Nvidia Inspector? And the third question is, when you use VSync, then does limiting your frame rate to one frame below the maximum display refresh rate really eliminate the extra delay caused by VSync? So to find out we need to measure the button to pixel lag or in other words the responsiveness of a game. For that I use a high speed camera, a gaming monitor and a mouse which has a LED connected directly to its left mouse button which will light up when I press it. Inside the game I map the move left action to the left mouse button so that my character will move to the left when I press it. For every test case I repeat this 20 times and then I take the recorded high speed footage where I look for the moment where the LED lights up and then I count the frames until I see the image change on the monitor. This then allows me to calculate the delay between pressing the left mouse button and the monitor showing me the result of that input. So when we do not use VSync nor G-Sync and use the in-game FPS limiters in Overwatch and CSGO to limit the frame rate to 142 FPS at a fixed display refresh rate of 144Hz, then we get an average button to pixel delay of 35.4 milliseconds in Overwatch and 36.11 milliseconds in CSGO. When we then enable G-Sync and repeat the same tests again, then the delays stay pretty much the same, which is expected as G-Sync does not add an extra delay which I already showed you in the G-Sync video, to which you can find a link in the description down below. Now, when we use the FPS limiter from the Nvidia Inspector instead of the in-game FPS limiter, then this increases the delay by nearly 20 milliseconds in both games, which means that we have about the same delay as if we were using VSync. So this is bad news for games that do not have such built-in FPS limiters, because for these you must use an external tool to limit your frame rate to stay inside the G-Sync window. Now let's answer the first question I got. Does the force offsetting inside the Nvidia Inspector help? Well, the average delay did decrease, but just by about 2 milliseconds, which means that there is not much of a difference and the delay is still nearly as bad as with VSync. Now, how about the River Tuner statistics server, which is also bundled with the MSI Afterburner tool? When we use that to limit the frame rate to 142 FPS, then we still get more delay than with the in-game FPS limiters, but it's less than what we get with the Nvidia Inspector. So when you need to limit the frame rate in a game that does not have a built-in FPS limiter, then you should probably consider to use the River Tuner instead of the Nvidia Inspector. So if you have a G-Sync or FreeSync compatible monitor, then you should always limit your frame rate to at least two frames below the maximum display refresh rate to ensure that you benefit from these technologies. But what if you don't have such a monitor and the only way how you can get rid of tearing is by using VSync, which does add quite a bit of extra delay, especially at 60Hz. Some people claim that by simply limiting your frame rate to one or two frames less than the active display refresh rate, you can eliminate the extra delay caused by double buffer VSync. So to find out, I disabled G-Sync, enabled VSync, set a fixed display refresh rate of 144Hz and then used the in-game FPS limiters in Overwatch and CSGO to limit the frame rate to 143FPS. This did in fact decrease the delay that you get with VSync, 
even though it does not get as low as when you have vSync disabled. So with this method you get less delay when using vSync while tearing is still avoided. But sadly there is a drawback in form of a periodic stutter caused by the game's frame rate being lower than the display's refresh rate. How noticeable this effect is depends on your display refresh rate, your PC's ability to maintain this exact frame rate and the pace of the game. So if you want to try this out then this is what you have to keep in mind. Now, even though this video is a bit shorter than other button to pixel lag analysis videos, it still took about 25 hours to do all the testing, the graphics, the script and the editing. So if you like this kind of niche content where I take a look at the inner workings of video games and show you how these affect your experience, then you can help me to cover the costs of this channel by supporting me through Patreon. The link to my Patreon page as well as a few other links related to this video are in the description down below. And if you want to know what I'm currently working on, then you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook, the links are also in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.